Question 1. What is ETL? Answer. ETL stands for Extraction, Transformation and Loading. ETL provide developers with an interface for designing source to target mappings, transformation and job control parameter. Extraction. Take data from an external source and move it to the warehouse preprocessor database. Transformation. Transform data task allows point-to-point -point generating, modifying and transforming data. Loading, load data task adds records to a database table in a warehouse. Question 2. What is the difference between ETL tool and OLAP tools? Answer. ETL tool is meant for extraction data from the legacy systems and load into specified database with some process of cleansing data. X. Informatica. Data stage OLAP is meant for reporting purpose in OLAP data available in multidirectional model, so that you can write simple query to extract data from the database. X. Business objects. Cognos. Question 3. Can we look up a table from source qualifier transformation, i.e., unconnected lookup? Answer. You cannot look up from a source qualifier directly. However, you can override the SQL in the source qualifier to join with the lookup table to perform the lookup. Question 4. What is ODS? Operation Data Source? Answer. ODS. Operational Data Store. ODS comes between staging area and data warehouse. The data as ODS will be at the low level of granularity. Once data was populated in ODS aggregated data will be loaded into EDW through ODS. Question 5. Where do we use connected and unconnected lookups? Answer. If return port only one then we can go for unconnected. More than one return port is not possible with unconnected. If more than one return port then go for connected. If you require dynamic cache i.e. where your data will change dynamically then you can go for connected lookup. If your data is static where your data won't change when the session loads you can go for unconnected lookups. Question 6. Where do we use semi and non-additive facts? Answer. Additive. A measure can participate arithmetic calculations using all or any dimensions. Semi-additive. A measure can participate arithmetic calculations using some dimensions. Non-additive. A measure can't participate arithmetic calculations using dimensions. Question 7. What are non-additive facts in detail? Answer. A fact may be measure, metric or a dollar value. Measure and metric are non-additive facts. Dollar value is additive fact. If we want to find out the amount for a particular place for a particular period of time, we can add the dollar amounts and come up with the total amount. A non-additive fact, for e.g., measure heights for citizens by geographical location. When we roll up city data to state level data we should not add heights of the citizens citizens rather we may want to use it to derive count. Question 8. What is a staging area? Do we need it? What is the purpose of a staging area? Answer. Data staging is actually a collection of processes used to prepare source system data for loading a data warehouse. Staging includes the following steps. Source data extraction, data transformation, restructuring, data transformation, data cleansing, value transformations, surrogate key assignments. Question 9. What is latest version of Power Center, Power Mart? Answer. The latest version is 7.2. Question 10. What are the modules in PowerMart? Answer. PowerMart Designer Server Server Manager Repository Repository Manager. Question 11. What are active transformation, passive transformations? Answer. Active transformation can change the number of rows that pass through it. Decrease or increase rows. Passive transformation cannot change the number of rows that pass through it. Question 12. What are the different lookup methods used in Informatica? Answer. Connected lookup. Connected lookup will receive input from the pipeline and sends output to the pipeline and can return any number of values it does not contain return port. Unconnected lookup. Unconnected lookup can return only one column it contain return port. Question 13. Can Informatica load heterogeneous targets from heterogeneous sources? Answer. No. In Informatica 5.2 and yes, in Informatica 6.1 and later. Question 14. How do we call shell scripts from Informatica? Answer. Specify the full path of the shell script the post session properties of session workflow. Question 15. What is Informatica metadata and where is it stored? Answer. Informatica metadata is data about data which stores in Informatica repositories.